I saw that we decriminalize weed in New York. I do feel like, though, we should stop calling all of weed weed. <laughs> now we have like eight levels of weed deeper than anyone has ever had before. That needs a new name. You know, like my friend took an edible and then just leaned in the corner for 30 minutes <laughs> because he thought he was a glass of orange juice. <laughs> and he didn't want to spill himself. That is not weed, sir. I used to be a pothead. I used to smoke weed all day, every day, and I, I beat weed, I won, and uh, my prize is I'm 37 and I have roommates. So kind of a shitty prize. <laughs> Nobody's gonna ever tell you that you have a weed problem. Your rock bottoms are way different. My rock bottom with alcohol, very obvious. Like, sixth arrest, I tried to fight the cops. I didn't have pants on. I was like, I gotta get my life together. I gotta get some pants if I'm ever gonna defeat these cops. <laughs> Your rock bottom with weed is just like one day you eat all the Parmesan cheese. <laughs> and you're like, I gotta get my life together and get more Parmesan cheese. My roommate is a pothead. He asked me one night, he's like, do you, do you like the Grateful Dead? And I was like, no. And he was like, well, have you ever seen them live? I'm like, why the f would I see them live if I don't like them? He's like, you gotta see them live, dude. You gotta see them live. I'm like, why? Because you get f up and go see them live? I'd rather drop acid and go to Chuck E. Cheese. Have you ever been to Chuck E. Cheese on acid? Have you ever seen that band live? You haven't lived till you see a rat rip a guitar solo. I'll tell you what. No, no, I'm going all in on this one. I think I have a plan that could fix this country. I think that we should have a tax that's just for hot people, you know? Like if you're super hot, I think you should have to pay an extra tax. Because I don't think anybody would be mad, you know? Like, if you got a letter in the mail that was like, you have to pay the hot people tax, <laughs> you'd be like, oh, hell yeah, all right. <laughs> About time! <laughs> About time the government saw what I was doing out here. I love watching The Bachelorette. I, uh, I love watching people more miserable than I am. It feels so good. I just can't believe how many of these people still want to get married. All my friends are married, and, and most of them go on date night. Aw, isn't that cute when married people go on date night? It means they're having problems. <laughs> Do you know how you know dating is more fun than being married? People who date don't have married night. <laughs> um. A study out this week says that garbage TV actually lowers people's IQs, which really did cheer me up, because I thought intelligence was largely hereditary, but now I know that fans of The Bachelor get what they deserve. <laughs> and the study also said that people who Ood at that joke are stupid. <laughs> it's almost like they don't know it's a comedy show, you know? It's been so hot. I feel like this is the kind of weather that will like force you to love yourself. You know what I mean? Like sometimes when I be going out, I be like, oh, I want to look better. I'm gonna put on Spanx. But in this weather, I be like, you know what? This is the body God gave me. This is makeup. Mm -mm, this is my face. This is the face. That guy wanted me to show the world. Who am I? <laughs> Who am I to mock the Lord? Who am I? I live with a millennial. Ugh, pray for me. <laughs> My brother is 15 years younger than me. He moved in with me. Every day, I wish I dropped him. <laughs> Every day, he makes me feel like I'm a bad person, right? He's always checking me about things that I didn't know were now out of vogue. One day he walks in, we're having a conversation. He was like, I'm going to this bar around the corner. And I know that this bar is a gay bar. So I was like, oh, look at you going to a gay bar. That's so progressive. He goes, Chloe, uh-uh, uh-uh. We don't, we don't say gay anymore. We say queer. Now, I feel like an old lady because I grew up with queer being a derogatory term. You didn't call somebody queer unless she was ready to fight. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm, I'm puzzled. Cause I'm looking at my 23 year old millennial brother like, where did you broke mother get their PR budget? <laughs> to spin this word around, do you understand? 
Another day, he walks into the living room. He has on a, a peach T-shirt. He goes, Chloe, what do you think about this shirt? Is it too feminine? I'm like, no, it's a regular peach T-shirt. He goes, trick question, gender's fluid. Get <laughs> out of my house! This kid won uh, $3 million in a Fortnite video game tournament. And I, for one, am just so happy to see that these suburban rich white kids are finally getting their due. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> It's about time. How are they gonna ever move out of the cul-de-sac and get their own town home otherwise? <laughs> they need this. These kids are working hard. I saw this kid interviewed. How did you win? Well, you just really gotta put on the hours and grind. That's what he said, you have to grind. That's what he called hiding out in his parents' basement, <laughs> live streaming on Twitch and avoiding chores. I think I might have to be president someday. Who's voting for me? Anybody? Wow. wow. A lot of winners here tonight. A lot of winners here tonight. Any questions about my presidential platform? Any issues you would like me to discuss? Any questions at all? Space Force. Space Force. First of all, happy eighth birthday. Great question. Um, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna get you a dirt bike after the show, so. You and your buddies can have great adventures all summer. We'll, we'll throw in a couple walkie-talkies, too, so you can solve local mysteries in your town. <laughs> I've been to every planet, dude. We don't need a space force. It's so boring out there. I was at Mars last week. Hot, dry, dull. Matt Damon's there all alone, hanging out. It's like, Matt, not right now, dude. I gotta run. <laughs> 